Hi guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to make elemental silicon. So the chemical you'll be needing today is aluminum powder, sulfur, and silicon dioxide. So you'll be needing 6.25 grams of aluminum, 7.50 grams of sulfur, and 5.60 grams of silicon dioxide, which is sand. So, to get the best results, get your silicon dioxide and grind it into a fine powder. So, you just grind it. I'll show you that's done. So, after grinding, you could clearly see that it's kind of like a powder. So, now the chemicals are ready to make be mixed together. So just grab a beaker or a or a mini pot. Like this. And we'll first put the aluminum powder and the sulfur and the silica sand to the everything right here. So now, you can just mix with the stir rod, which I'm getting right now. So now, just mix, really thoroughly, and you will see a color change. So I'll show you when this is ready. So after mixing, you should get like a yellow, gray, color so I'm gonna do it in this little vessel that I got in the pot which I actually got in the store well, okay. this is perfect so and then also grab your potassium permanganate or I mean if you're gonna turn it on like this and that's how it comes out. So just poke it in the middle to make it a little dent. Like this. And add your potassium command inside that little hole. Very carefully. Almost finished. Potassium permanganate, it's a pretty cool chemical. I like it a lot. Next time when I order stuff, I'm going to order a lot. Okay, so now it's finished. And you can see all the potassium permanganate in the hole. So, the next step is get it on fire. So, I'll be going outside for this. So now I have it in order. I have some few drops of glycerin. Okay, now stand back and watch.
been about one hour, and I saw that my little vessel or pot is broken. I have to think of a great idea to do this. I'm doing this outside because if I do it inside, um, my whole room will smell like rotted eggs because that's hydrogen sulfide. And I don't want to do this outside, but I have to. Right now, in Southern California, it's about 105 degrees. It's pretty hot. So I just get rid of everything. Just break it. It's pretty hard. Okay. I'm going to have to get a tool for this. Okay. I got my tool. Just a hammer. And... Oh, I got I'm going to have to use some goggles. Okay. I have my goggles and my hammer. So now, just break it. Just come on. And all those small parts, put it in a safe spot. Like all of these. I'll have to do a better idea. I don't want to break all of my pots. It's not bad. Okay. Just one little... You can actually see it sparkle. Probably not on the camera, but I could see it sparkling. What's that? All of that aside, and this is what I recovered. So I'll get a beaker and pour in about 100 milliliters, or about, and then add all the stuff inside here, and it should react with it. I don't know why it reacts, but it reacts. That's the exit off bubble. So I'll show you when it's finished bubbling. I'm halfway there, and you can see it bubbling hard. Uh, has the same stink as hydrogen sulfide. So it's been about one hour, and you can see that it finished reacting. It's reacting very little. So the next step is to decant all the water. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, now pour in more water. Okay, I have to run inside to get the water. So, just add more water. And it smells rotten eggs still. And then, take the water off again. Actually, a very good idea is to drop it off in the table. In any big pieces, you'll be able to see them. And I actually see some big pieces of silicon. They look pretty cool. So, add more water. Okay, and decant it again, on the table.
And you can actually see pieces of elemental silicon. Big pieces. That's very cool. I have no more water. So I'll come right back. So after getting all the finished product with some tweezers, I got my elemental silicon. And this is pretty awesome. Last time that I tried this, I didn't got well results. I actually got big pieces like this. You could actually see it that it's very shiny. This is everything that I got. I'm actually pretty proud. All of that. Last time that I did this, like about a month ago, I received little, little crystals. But this is awesome with this big chunk of silicone that I received. So, quick updates. I'll be posting a video about making copper two soul pippin to hydrate crystals. Probably around next week. I'll probably start today. That is the 10th of June. And try to post it by next week. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.